sexy tarot aries this will be your edition of sexy is snitching please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when i go live aries as a friendly reminder we all have male and female energies within us although you see genders on the cards keep in mind their energies Aries, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Aries, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the About page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of Cash App or by way of a donations link, which you can find in the description box below. All right, Aries, there will not be an extended to this reading. I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. So the first thing I'm going to do is get you some energies from your person that they're bringing towards you. Spirit, what energies is Aries person bringing towards Aries? What energies is Aries person bringing towards Aries? You have... I always feel like somebody's watching me. Be careful of fake pages. Aries, somebody is watching you. Um, they possibly could be watching you from a fake social media account. All right, this person is keeping an eye on you. Also, they're keeping an eye on to see if you message them. I'm hearing that strongly if you message them. This person is on one of your social media accounts, whether you know it or not. Um, and at the bottom of the deck confirming is social media. So this could be your um, your uh, Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter account, a WhatsApp account. You know, if you make social or public posts on WhatsApp. Spirit, what energy is this Aries person bringing towards Aries? What energy is this Aries person bringing towards Aries? You have vivid dreams, vivid dreams. This person dreams of talking to you, dreams of speaking with you, dream of being with you. You are in this person's dreams. They're fantasizing about what beautiful music the two of you can make. Okay, I'm hearing in the band played on. So maybe that um, it's a situation where you and this person are no longer romantically connected or you, you physically distance yourself from this person. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I have past events affecting the current energy. So something definitely happened in the past where that's why her in the band plays on so something definitely happened in the past that pushed you to at the current state of a uh, emotional or physical distance one more energy that aries person is bringing towards aries spirit please and thank you may I have another energy that aries per you have loyalty loyalty there was possibly um in the past that current energy that past energy that's affecting the current energy where this person possibly was not loyal to you and i feel like right now your person is watching you they're dreaming of you and i'm hearing um biggie biggie give me one more chance biggie biggie give me one more chance so this person wants one more chance to show that they will be loyal to you dedicated to you they want to look at you and tell you something in your face at the bottom of the deck you have got to believe divine energy angels and outfield this person um it really has a strong faith they um are praying that you know although you two are on the outs that an angel will come in and save this connection okay but i want you to know when it comes to this person is more to the story it's something they may not be very open and upfront about with you so i really need to put that out there so if you do have a conversation with this person if you get a red flag like there's some missing information you should possibly ask some clarifying questions all right okay so let's see why i always feel like somebody's watching me be careful of fake pages is here spirit why is aries person bringing the energy of watching aries why does aries need to be aware that this person is watching them that's too many why does aries person need to be aware okay 
here and now. Oh, wow. So right now, this is going on. Right now, this person is watching you. Right now, this person is looking for a sign from you. When is it okay to reach out? I'm hearing they want to DM you if you block them. Yeah, because with inside that, I cried being at the bottom of the deck. This person is really in a lot of pain inside. They could have been possibly been torn between two lovers, or they're possibly torn up, um, about whether they should reach out or not. Aries, your person is bringing this energy of vivid dreams. Their arms are open wide to you. They're hoping in, in their dreams you are very receptive. Okay, and this person wants the um, connection to continue on. Spirit, why is, I mean, this person would be ecstatic if you reach out. They're saying that they're going to put their best foot forward. Yes, yeah, so with vivid dreams in the sign, <laughs> your person is waiting for a sign from you, Aries. When is it okay? When are you going to open up? When are you going to be in the energy of receivership? That's what they want to know. At the bottom of the deck, you have released me. Um, so I feel like you uh, you release this person. Um, you are possibly in the process of clearing this person from your energy. Aries, right now your person is bringing this energy of loyalty. They want to look you in your eye and tell you, I do love you. I love you. I love you. This person wants to take on a new role with you. They have a lot of passion that's on their mind when it comes to you, Aries. This person wants to speak some sort of truth to you. And remember, um, again, I feel like you need to ask some clarifying questions. Spirit, why is Aries person bringing the energy of loyalty? Hold on, Aries. Why is Aries person bringing the energy of loyalty towards Aries? That's the way love goes. Okay, so I feel like, as I previously stated, that there was an issue with loyalty in this connection. And I feel like this person is willing to put the past behind them if you are at the bottom of the deck. It's emotions, emotions, and I'm hearing, I get so emotional, baby, every time I think of you. Now, I understand emotions is Mariah Carey's song, but that's the song that came to mind when I pulled that card. So what I'm going to do, Aries, is I'm going to set these energies to the side in case I need to refer to them during the course of the reading. Spirit, how does Aries person view Aries? How is Aries person viewing Aries at this time, spirit? How is Aries person How is Aries person viewing Aries spirit? Thank you. Uncertainty, uncertainty. And I do feel like that's the energy of they're not sure if they should approach you or not. Spirit, how does Aries person feel about Aries? How does Aries person socialize? They want to take you out on a date or they could feel like you're dating other people. Spirit, what does Aries person think of Aries? What is it that Aries person thinks of Aries? Obsession. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this person is like you're constantly on your mind. It's to the point where it's a little unhealthy, you know, and I feel like you're confused why this person is approaching you. Spirit, what's at the root of the matter for Aries person when it comes to Aries? What's at the root of the matter? crossroads so your person possibly can have a choice between two people but i feel like at the root of the matter there's an indecision and very soon um, a decision is going to be made possibly by you or your person spirit what is the blockage the obstacle the challenge in the way for aries person when dealing with aries what is the blockage the obstacle the challenge in the way you have very soon a decision has not been has not been made yet, okay? And I feel like that's why at the root of the matter, the crossroads is here. And this is why this person is going to reach out to you soon, Aries. Spirit, what is the potential outcome for Aries and their person? What is the potential outcome for Aries and their person? Aries. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading is letter, letter. Okay, so someone is actually, this This was all in the energy. Someone is looking for a sign. When is it a great time to reach out to you? When are you going to be receptive to their energy? Okay, so the, the reason for your reading is someone is about to reach out to you, Aries. They are. And um, it's some news and message coming towards you soon. At the bottom of the deck, what do you have to say? You have new love. 
you have sexual union and happiness and Aries you would be more than happy to hook up with this person you really like um engaging in um cookies and milk energy you want to you like dipping your cookies in a milk okay or vice versa all right and you do you love being intimate with this person i feel like there's um happiness when the two of you can i'm hearing making love between the sheets all right aries well aries your person is uncertain they're not sure they feel you as not being sure if this is a true romantic connection or not okay so this person wants a deeper understanding of what the two of you share with one another spirit why does aries person view aries as uncertain why does aries person view aries as uncertain oh i get it what do you have to say at the bottom of the deck you have sometimes i stay away thinking about you it's time for me to heal now so many things remind me of you so aries i see you're coming from a place where you are possibly healing from um being in pain or healing from um your feelings being hurt by this person or another lover i don't know why i'm feeling um inclined to say that and i feel like you stay away thinking about the person that you're healing from and there's so many things to remind you of this person well, Aries, hold on, Aries. I apologize, Aries. It was my Umi birthday, and she called, and it's hard to reach her. Anywho, Aries, so your person views you as um, not being sure if you're thinking about them, too. You know what I mean? So your person is like, look, I, I view Aries. I'm not sure if Aries views me as a true romantic connection. And I'm not sure if Aries, you know, thinks about me the way that I think about them. Because Aries, your person cannot stop thinking about you i really need to hone in on that spirit why is aries person viewing aries is not sure that aries is thinking about them why is, okay aries this person wants to start something with you at the bottom of the deck you have mountain you have bridge and you have the clock and aries what you're telling me is oh okay right now you're feeling imbalanced you you are healing so you are willing to talk about this compromise and negotiate but however you know you're still trying to find your way through something that's a bit challenging for you and you do feel like it's time that some changes are made 
I get it. Why well, Aries, your person is like they can't stop thinking about you, and they wonder, you know, it, they're confused. They want to know if you think about them the way they think about you. Um, someone could be unsure about their child. Um, it could be um, an argument over children and um, a child. Um, Missing the parent, that's a side note. But this is more of a romantic based uh reading. Aries, your person could view you as not being sure if you want to fresh start with them. And are you thinking about a new beginning with them the way they're thinking about a new beginning with you? Spirit, why is this child energy here for Aries person? Why is this child energy here for Aries person? Why is this child energy here for Aries person? At the bottom of the deck, you have unawakened, ego-driven, and hidden blessings. So, Aries, this is where I caution you. Okay, I feel like that um, whatever shadow energy you're in because i do feel like you're in some shadow energy that you're not aware of certain blessings with hidden blessings being here that's trying to approach you because you're in your ego it's like you you you're not ready to accept this connection so you possibly are rejecting it rejecting it because you are in some I want to say state of sadness or um, you're in this state of, um, it's a word, a specific word I'm looking for, like a cynic, like you don't believe it. And I feel like well, that's the way that love goes, that card that showed up. I feel like someone hurt your feelings. So any new people or a new person that's trying to connect with you, feel like that you just like yeah they all the same you know but someone is about to reach out to you Aries your person views you as not being sure if you are thinking about them um they view you as walking away from this fresh start so they feel you is like turning your back on any possibilities that the, that the two of you may have together, you know, so they could view you as hurting from being separated from another soulmate. At the bottom of the deck, you have dominance, you have ecstasy and jealousy. Oh, Aries, I don't like this energy because it's like you do find pleasure with this person. However, um, you want to gain more control over the situation. Something's triggering your jealousy. Yeah, like your heart is broken by, about something and it stopped. Something stopped. Oh, you can't get away. Is this a third-party situation? You haven't heard from this person, okay? And you feel like they're playing with you? Yeah, and you, what expectation did you have? You expected to have a new beginning with this person, okay? So the energies could be vice versa. But Aries, your person views you as walking away from this new beginning. They view you as holding on to some sort of safety net, you know, and that's why you're unsure. Your person views you as have, being having this confusion with mixed emotions. They view you as like wanting to be with them at night, but wanting the security of something else in the day. That's just how I'm hearing it. So let's see why your person views you as having mixed emotions. Because your person is saying you're holding on to something else. Spirit, why is Aries person viewing Aries as having mixed emotions? Why is Aries person viewing Aries as having mixed emotions? Spirit, please and thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. You have the five of swords. You're sabotaging this connection, Aries. I got to be honest with you. And the knight of cups. Some of you are done with the Pisces. So, Aries, I feel like that. I feel like 
when it comes to you moving on to a place of peace, I feel like you're not being totally honest, either with yourself or with someone else. Or you may feel like someone's not being totally honest with you. Someone is playing mind games, they're manipulating this connection, and it's like with this Knight of Cups. Maybe you want to apologize to this person about this, or maybe you can expect an apology. Well, Aries, your person is saying you have mixed emotions. And with the Seven of Wands, they feel like that you're very guarded. Your person feels like you don't want to hear or um, really talk about anything passionate with them at this time. They feel like they're turning your back from moving forward in this connection with this chariot. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. And with this tower energy, um, some of you are dealing... Uh, some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. It's like, I feel like there's some shocking revelation that someone is standing their ground. They're like, look, I'm moving on. So, you know, I feel like somebody wants to leave this connection and somebody else wants to stay. So let's look into this tower energy. Let's see what this shocking revelation is about. Spirit, why is the tower energy for air, here for Aries? I feel like you, you, you guarded. You were trying to fight for something else. But I feel like it's another energy that would like to spend time with you or be with you. And it shocked you. Tell me about this tower energy. This is someone you know from the past. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. You have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And Aries, what you're telling me is like you possibly manifested a new beginning for yourself that, um, that involves stability, that involves your wish fulfillment, possibly a new home or a family situation, but you keep running away from it with the Seven of Swords. It's like you keep running away from it. So this shocking revelation... Um, it's about the Six of Cups. Someone feels like you're their soulmate, Aries. They view you as their soulmate. This is someone you know already, okay? And this person expects to have a future with you. This person wants to um, be patient with you, nurture this connection, have stability with this connection. Some of you are done with a Capricorn. Aries, how your person feels about you, how your person feels about you, is uh socialized um i got two energies here i want to say that right now i got one person wanting to be with you and i got another person that's saying aries i want to they feel like they want to date other people they feel like y'all need to let each other go you got two energies here but however someone is being um someone here See, it's very conflicting. Someone feels like y'all need to let this go. But then they change their mind. And now they, this could be a family dynamic. Now they want to heal this, grow this, and possibly surprise you with a gift. So let's see what this um, healing and this gift is about. Because I feel like there was a lot of confusion here. Somebody had other options. But now it's like someone is like, look, I feel like we need to... Um, we need to let each other go because I'm going to date somebody else. Somebody could possibly be wanting to level up with an option. Tell me about this tree and this gift for Aries person and how they're feeling. At the bottom of the deck, you have apology. You have toxic and dominance. And Aries, I want you to know this is your card. This is like the emperor energy. And Aries, you telling me that you do want to take control over the situation. And you want to apologize to this person for the toxicity. Or it's vice versa. But someone will be reaching out to you soon. Aries, your person feels like with this restraints, they feel like you're holding back your money or they could feel like that your money is very limited at this time. Your person feels like that's why you don't, um, you're holding back from seducing them or being seduced. Your person feels like, you know, they don't want any strings attached. Somebody wants to 
not boots with you. I'm trying to tell you. Or maybe that's what you want to do and you want to, maybe, oh, they feel like you don't want any strings attached. That you're okay with the physical aspect of the connection. They feel like that you think the two of you, that y'all should separate. Okay. Because maybe you're trying to make something happen with a family situation. So let's see why your person feels like you don't want any strings attached. Spirit, why does Aries person feel like they don't want any strings attached? Why does Aries person feel like Aries does not want any strings attached? At the bottom of the deck, you have the three of pentacles. See, it is, I feel like it's a third-party situation. Justice, some of you are done with a Libra and the four of pentacles. And Aries, you feel like this person is holding back some information from you. And the information you feel like they're holding back from you, you feel like it's not fair. It's not balanced. You know, you can feel like this person is choosing a third party over you. However, Aries, I feel like you're holding back from working with this person, collaborating with this person, or making anything right with this person. Well, Aries, I ask why your person feels like you don't want any strings attached. With this Queen of Wands energy, this is you, Aries. Your person feels like that you know you you got it going on at this time. You're highly confident. You're sexy. You know, they feel like you're feeling yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, Aries, your person feels like I'm hearing all eyes on you, that you healing yourself. You headed towards your destiny is something you want to make happen in relation to a fresh start with the Page of Wands. I feel like because this Page of Wands is on his ice so your person could feel like that you're not ready for anything serious because it's something you're working on for yourself because if you look at this card if you take this first start right now it might be fragile and not be the right time because that ice is cracking so they could feel like you're working on your self-confidence or you know with there's no strings attached, like right now, you just not in, in the optimal space to start anything new. You'll be passionate with them, but as far as having anything serious, you are trying to work on yourself. So tell me about this, this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands? Why is Aries person feeling Aries is the Queen of Wands? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Aries, some of you are giving to two people. I feel like you love both of these people, and I feel like you're high in it, but you can't give to both of them equally, right? Or it could be vice versa. Well, Aries, this Queen of Wands, your person feels like you're, you're taking this action, but... Bear with me. Your person feels like you're searching your emotions with this Queen of Cups. They feel like you're trying to use your intuition, but you're stuck. And what you're stuck about is who's going to stay and who's going to go with this Queen of Swords. Some of you are done with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini energy. Others of you are done with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So your person feels like you don't know who you want to take action towards. But right now, you don't want any strings attached. Some of you are leaning towards cutting off an air sign. But I just feel like you're stuck. Aries, what your person thinks of you, what they think of you. They think you're obsessed with material things. That's what they do. They think you're, they, that's, what, that's what they're thinking. They think you're, um, you have this strong, desire and unhealthy attachment to material things your person um is thinking about having a conversation with you with this birds energy so that the two of you can become more in alignment with one another or more in sync spirit why is aries person thinking the birds and then sync 
they feel like you they want to have a conversation with you because they feel like they understand you this person feel like they could finish your sentences um they feel like being with you is effortless spirit why does every person want to have a conversation by bringing things into alignment at the bottom of the deck you have beginnings you have extremities and incompatibility aries you may feel like that the two of you are, are in hold on aries Aries, you may feel like that the two of you are incompatible. You might feel like it's too it's too far fetched to even have a new beginning with this person. Well, Aries, your person is thinking of this reconciliation. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Your person is thinking about reconciling with you, and they are watching to see when is a good time to make this romantic gesture towards you. They want to make you some sort of offer. So let's see what why your person is spying. Spirit, why is it, why is Aries person spying on Aries? What is this spying card about? Like this person has hope, or they're looking for glimmers of hope, but they think you hiding behind material things. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You have the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. Aries, some of you like, I don't want to talk to them. I don't want that. That's how I feel. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want that. Anything to do with this X, I don't want it. This high priestess has the X across her chest. It looks like it's an X here. And this person is throwing damn cups off the damn balcony, okay? you like, I don't want that. I don't even want to talk to them. Well, Aries, your person is spying because they want to know why you're holding back with this four of pentacles energy they're like look what is aries high and why are they holding back you know they wondering like why are you not taking the lead taking action some of you are dealing with the leo here's your energy or Taurus's energy with the emperor your person is like when is aries gonna take the control or take the lead why why are they holding back so they watching to see when you're going to make a move Let's see why they think you're the four of pentacles. Because they think you scared. Like, well, they thinking you holding on to something else. I'm trying to tell you. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Why is Aries person thinking Aries is the four of pentacles? At the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of swords. You have the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. And Aries, I feel like you focused on your work right now. I feel like that these options is just too much right now. It stresses you out. It worries you. It confuses you. I feel like it confuses you. So to work on any of this. So I feel like that's why you're working on your money. Well, Aries, your person with this four of pentacles, they feel like by the fact that you're holding back is causing challenges obstacles confusion drama they also think you're holding on to some competition aries your person is saying by you holding back is bringing this ten of wands energy and what they recognize is that this is overwhelming it's a burden when it comes to this new love this ace of cups or renewing this connection Aries at the root of the matter for your person when it comes to you is, you know, they're at a crossroads because they want to be more than friends with you, Aries. Aries at the root of the matter for your person is they're hoping to return to you. They're hoping that the momentum will pick up in this connection. They're hoping to have changes. Spirit, why is the wishing well, why is Aries person hoping that the situation will change and gain momentum? Why is Aries person hoping the situation? Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have strategy. You have backup plan and blinded. 
you like, I don't know. Maybe they could be my backup plan. I wasn't expecting this. So if your current situation doesn't work out, then you'll consider them. Or do you feel like they're doing this to you? Well, Aries, your person is hoping that the situation to gain momentum. Your person is hoping that you choose them with the selection card. Your person is obsessed. See that person watching? They're, they're obsessively watching. Some of you are really done with the Capricorn to see who will you choose. Your person is thinking it like you don't have no emotions. Like you not, like you unfazed by how they feel. I want to see why this hollow card is here. Because I feel like this person is not really on the surface showing you this. They feel like they can't read you. Tell me about this hollow card here at the root of the matter. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. You have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. And Aries, you just want to wait because you've been hurt. The last person you were with, they cut you deeply. So you want to wait before you invest into another commitment, you know, some home life. Some I feel like you learned your lesson. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, you learned a valuable lesson in relation to relationships, marriage, home life, family, and stability. And right now, that's what you want to invest in, something that's um, valuable. But you do, you're thinking about it. You want to wait because I'm looking at that blood coming out that tree. The last time you struck, it hurt. Well, Aries, your person with this hollow card, they feel like that you're not being fair. With this justice card, some of you are done with a Libra. Your person feels like it's not fair that you walked away with this Eight of Cups, like you don't have any feelings. But then there's this Queen of Cups coming from the other way of uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So with whoever this Queen of Cups is, this is a very loving, nurturing, kind energy. She's coming in with this cup. Now, when she adds this cup to these eight cups, it becomes nine cups of wish fulfillment. So let's clarify this queen of cups, because that's not true. That's not true. That's this person here. That's the person that's stuck on you. It looks like you're stuck between a water sign and an air sign. It doesn't have to be. But this Queen of Cups showed up here. And this is the person that is very, that they seducing you. Tell me about this Queen of Cups for Aries. Why is this Queen of Cups here for Aries? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. You like, look sexy, that's this Eight of Cups here. I walked away. I walked away because I was betrayed, abandoned, left out in the cold. Somebody stabbed me in my back. I'm not ready. You're right. I was hurt. I get it, Aries. Well, this Queen of Cups is coming in to build with you, collaborate with you, work on things with you, talk to you, network with you. Because I feel like this Queen of Cups is bringing this love because they know you're stressed. They know you're worried. This Queen of Cups is like, um, they want to know if there's stability with you. They love you. Somebody has a lot of love for you, Aries. Aries, the blockage, the obstacle, the challenge, and the way for you and your person is someone made a decision to hide who they really were. Someone was not up front about who they were in this connection. Someone met the other's representative, okay? Whoever this male energy is, you know, they were trying to protect their heart, protect their emotions, and they weren't ready for these changes. You know, um, 
someone wasn't sure if they were going to be safe in the connection. This male energy was not sure if they would feel safe in the connection. Okay, but they do feel um, in an intensity here, you know, and they were fe they fear losing you to somebody else. Whoever this male energy is. Tell me about this male energy and this protective. Because this person um, didn't make a choice. They didn't make a choice. At the bottom of the deck, you have ecstasy, self-gratification, and old-fashioned. And Aries, I feel like you believe in traditional values and morals. And you're old-fashioned, you know, and... Right now, until you hear something traditional, you might be over there pleasing yourself, if you know what I mean. Okay? I feel like you're playing hard to get right now. Okay? Because you're trying to avoid some sort of scandal. Okay? And that's possibly... Somebody could be ghosting somebody or disappearing from an entanglement. Somebody is possibly releasing themselves from a third-party situation. Well, Aries, you, you know... The blockage is someone didn't make a decision and they hid who they really were from someone. It's a male energy here who is afraid of not being safe because this is the person that is afraid of you losing their safety net, okay? And Aries, the blockage is someone, this is, um, some of you don't with a Virgo because this is hermit energy. It's like the blockage is someone wants to spend time alone, because they're missing someone else, possibly an ex-lover. And that's the blockage. And as I said, I have two energies here. Aries, I have someone new that wants to um, get your attention, but I see you may be stuck on somebody else. Spirit, or it's vice versa. Tell me about this lovesick energy that's in a blockage. Why is this love sick energy in the blockage? Why is this love sick energy the blockage spirit? Please and thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. You have the Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with Taurus, or this was possibly a marriage or a commitment. And the Magician. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Scorpio. Aries, someone wants to make something happen here, okay? But it's like there's a marriage or a commitment that someone wants forgiveness in, but it's very hard to accomplish this. It's an obstacle. And this is what you're trying to make happen. You want to bring this back. You want something back. Well, Aries, this lovesick energy that we're clarifying here, the blockage is someone is lovesick and hanging on to another connection. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, and they don't see things from another perspective, whoever this male energy is. This person is not making a move towards anything new with this Ace of Cups that this Queen of Cups is bringing. So this is the queen coming with this new love. And it's like, no, I'm not, you know, I see it, but I'm not going to make a move towards it. So with this five of pentacles energy, right, someone's watching. This person, I, I feel, is the person watching the queen of cups. I feel like that's the person watching, especially where her eye looking like that. But you're afraid and you creeping because you like, I don't want to be abandoned, left out in the cold. Because you love sick over something else. So, let's see this five of pentacles energy. For some of you, you can feel like your finances aren't ready for this. Tell me about the five of pentacles as the blockage for Aries and their person. Why is the five of, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the two of wands. You have the Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Aries, it's your confusion or juggling with this Two of Pentacles, or you may be very busy, don't have enough time. With this Two of Wands, all this indecision is what's sabotaging you from being happy, just so you know. 
because those tools are indecision. And that five of swords is a sabotaging. And someone could be playing mind games and juggling two people. What well, Aries, this five of pentacles that I asked why is the blockage someone possibly having financial issues or feeling abandoned? This four swords. Someone is like, it's like whoever this male energy is, they're healing right now from this ten of swords energy, this betrayal. Okay, so this this person feel like they were manipulated or they sabotaged the connection, and that's why they're feeling abandoned or with this five of pentacles. I feel like there was a breakup here. Okay, someone's going to break from someone and they are taking it as a betrayal or there's some sort of finality, some ending here. And I feel like this male energy is protecting themselves, okay? So if you are a female Aries, you may be experiencing this with a male. If you are a male Aries, you may be the one feeling um, betrayed. The potential outcome for you and your person in relation to this is um, somebody could have blew some money or some money opportunity. It was my fault, but I blamed you or someone did not value the connection. The potential outcome is someone is just going to hang on to what they know, what they're loyal to. That's how I feel. It's like somebody keeps self-sabotaging. Or messing up a, some, a situation where someone is loyal to them. They didn't value the connection or they were messing up the money and they were blaming the other person. Spirit. Mm, okay. I see why that fell out like that. At the bottom of the deck, you have ecstasy, self-gratification, and old-fashioned. Well, we done explained those energies previously. Aries, someone here is spoiled and want things their way. It's all about them with the one, okay? Someone here, um, see these two dogs? Someone like, I got to make sure I'm able to trust. I got to make sure I'm getting what I want out of this, okay? But with beautiful disaster, although there's a lot of passion and desire here, I feel like someone sabotaged the connection. I feel like something, um, someone is blaming someone else for something they did. Some, someone was really selfish here, just all about them and their gratification. Tell me about the one here and the potential outcome. Tell me about the one. Why is the one here in the potential outcome? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of the King of Cups. This is Scorpio's energy, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Double. Some of you are done with the Capricorn. So Aries, you know, um, there's an unhealthy attachment here. Someone's obsessed with working on this connection, possibly a Scorpio. Well, Aries, the one, the potential outcome here is death here. Scorpio, it could be a person in like, you know what? I'm going to end this. I'm just going to end this. I don't want to be part of this third party anymore. And with this three of wands, somebody is no longer expecting you to come in. So, I'm not being funny. You could have thought somebody was obsessed with you, but they gave up. They gave up. This not going to play out the way... Whoever this male energy is, you're about to be shocked. If you're a female energy, you might be about to shock someone. But whoever this male energy is, this not going to work out the way they thought. It's a third party exiting the stage. I'm just being real honest. Tell me about death for Aries. What is this death about for Aries spirit, please and thank you? Why is death here? Told you, the three of swords. Three of swords. At the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of wands. The Three of Cups, and here's the King of Cups. Some of you done with Scorpio. So now you had all these hidden feelings. 
you have love for this person you do want to reconcile with this person then you want to send them messages for stability and a new beginning well this death card this ending Somebody got tired of the mind games. They got tired of the sabotaging. Somebody got tired of someone having all the control with this king of wands. Like it was all about them. This is selfish energy. Some of you done with a Leo. So the death is with this third party. So now because of mind games and manipulation and someone um, kept breaking another's heart, Possibly a third party because that's the three of swords. This three of swords. They thought about this like, you know what? Just keep getting hurt. So they ended it. Aries, let me get you some advice for this reading. If this person has not, if you're a male Aries and this has not been communicated to you, someone's about to reach out. If you are a female Aries, you might be about to re, um, present this communication. Doesn't have to be in that order. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries regarding this reading? It was definitely a third party situation. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries regarding this reading? What advice do you have? Thank you. Too many. What advice do you have for Aries regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries regarding this reading? What advice do you thank you? So Aries, there's a possible marriage or higher level of commitment, but Spirit is saying this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. And it's going to happen soon enough. I feel like you and this person is going to start dating because I'm telling you, there's another energy here. You and this person is going to start dating. You're going to start talking. You're going to start meeting up. And I feel like this might be a newer energy. Aries... With this interference and external party is intruding on this relationship, I feel like someone doesn't want this intrusion to come in. Someone, like this addiction keeps showing up. Somebody has this unhealthy attachment, this codependency here. Like they're just comfortable with the way things are. And they're like, no, I don't want no interference. I want things to stay just the way they are. This could be you or someone else. Aries, Spirit is saying, does this situation align with your values and morals in relation to integrity? You're not sure. You're unclear. And the reason you're unclear is because you keep reminiscing and comparing this to something of the past. I'm just being honest. Aries, Spirit wants you to know when it comes to the spiritual lesson, you are on the right path. Okay, somebody is here to teach you a life lesson, and that's what that heartbreak was all about. That heartbreak was to course correct you, Aries. Okay, so it looks like you're going to have a conversation soon. Someone's going to be reaching out to you, and hopefully, I feel like right now you're in the middle of these energies. This is why there's nothing very decisive coming out, but if you were wondering if you're going to hear from someone, you are Aries, Aries, Aries. This has been your edition of Sexy is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aries, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Aries. Comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. And no 